All right, look at these four word problems that we have. If you look at the top, you've got two formulas, present value and future value. So let's read number one and see which formula you guys think we'll have to use. Joey and Sarah want to start a <laughs> savings account for their new baby on his first birthday. They put $1,000 in the bank. How much will be in the bank on his 18th birthday? So what do y'all think? Future. Yeah, saving money for the baby's future. We're going to use the future value formula, which is the easiest one. All right, so P right here stands for payment, how much you pay the bank once a year. Look it up. How much is it? $1,000. All right. Next letter, the I. You might want to guess what the I stands for. Interest, interest rate. What is our interest rate on number one? 6.5. 6 so what number are we going to put in our formula? <laughs> Good, 0 0.065. So I got 1 plus 0 0.065 here and 0 0.065 on the bottom. All right, last is N. N stands for number of times you make a payment. Can we figure that out by reading the problem? 18. How do you get 18? Once Does it year. once a year for 18 years, all right? I agree, 18. All you have to do on number one is type it in just like you see it in your calculator. <clears throat> one is definitely the easier of the two formulas. If you did not get that answer, let me look at your calculator and see what you did wrong. Uh, I got that same answer, but I didn't put a thousand in my calculator. You did not get the same answer. I'm telling you, you're telling me you did. You definitely did, but you got thirty-two dollars and forty-one cents. Mm -hmm. Because you didn't put a thousand. You forgot the minus one. Yep. All right, so next, guys, we're going to do number three because number three is just like number one. We're going to use these calculators for a while. The reason is you can cheat on these, and I want y'all to be able to work them out by hand. Can I finish, finish that, that one there? Yeah, well, it's on here, Hey. You missed it because you had instead of point zero six five, you, you had negative zero six five. Actually, all right. So let's try number three. The same exact way you did number one. All right, so we've got a new formula that we have to use on this one. It says Mark buys a new house for his mom. So his house cost $127,000. That is the present value of what the house costs right now. So we're going to use the present value formula. I'm going to write this formula down. You guys don't have to write it down. It's already written down on your paper. All right, number two. All right, let's read the problem. It says the house cost $127,000. You're going to have to put $127,000 right here. That's what it stands for, P sub N. That is your present value. $127,000 will have to go on the left side of the equal sign on this problem. Okay, on the last problem, what did we say this stood for, P? The payment. The payment you make the bank. And that's what we're looking for, so we're just going to leave that P. All right, let's look at our formula. The next thing we got to plug in is the I. What did we say I was? Interest. interest rate. Look at the problem. What's the interest rate? 4.8%. All right, so what do I have to do with that? Move the decimal point back, 0 0.048. Okay, we got to add a step. All right, you guys who make a house payment every month, how many times a year do you make a house payment? 12, because you do it monthly, right? We have to divide that number by 12. So on your calculators right now, so Z, why are we doing that again? 
Huh? What? Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> Why are we dividing by 12 again, Z? Um, 12 years in a month. 12 <laughs> Because, right, it's 12 months in a year, and you make a house payment 12 times a year. So you have to divide that interest rate by 12. What'd you get later? Point zero zero four. All right, we're going to use point zero zero four this time for your I. Point zero zero four goes there and up here. Anybody have a question how we found that? So the house payment problem is the only problem where you will have to divide by 12 before you use that interest rate. All right, last, we got to find what goes in for the N. Now, what did we say the N stood for in the last problem? <coughs> Number of times you make a payment. Not necessarily 20. years. Now, hold on. Since we do it 12 times a year, how many years are we talking about? 20. So we got to 12 times 20. So you're going to make this payment 240 times in your life before you get your house paid off. It keeps showing up as like $2 million. No, your house payment won't be $2 million. <laughs> Dang, right? No, I don't know. Yours might be, Drew. <laughs> they are now. Okay. Drew's going to marry your sugar mama. Yes, sir. Say it again. 154. All right, so first thing, Jade's ahead of me. Type this in your calculator to see what we get. I think Jade's right. He's saying 154 or something. That's not your house payment, but yes. So let's type this in. Parentheses. One minus. Hang on, Allie, I'm still typing. All right, I got 154.09, correct? So I got 127 equals P, and we got 154.09. We'll stop here and let everybody get caught up. What'd you get? 154.09. Now, why is this a negative up here on the number of payments? I, I really don't know. It's in the formula. I guess we could investigate that. I don't know why that's a negative. It's in the formula. Like so, so we're just going to bring it down and use it. So All right, so Drew, what's the last step going to be up here for us to find our house payment? I don't know. I keep getting the wrong one. Divide by P. <laughs> Divide by P. Every single one of my answers. All right, Drew, I'll come look at yours. You do divide by 154.09. So you guys do that, and then you should be able to start answering those three questions. All right, so I'm going to divide this and get my house payment. So I got 127,000, 154.09. My house payment is $824.19. Because mine said 193. The number after the nine has to be five or higher to round up. All right, so this is your house payment every month for the next 20 years, right? Now, when you have a house payment... You have to add some stuff to this when you buy a house. This is the difference in renting and owning a trailer or a house. You're going to have to pay at least $100 a month on insurance. I would say for like the bread and gas. No, 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 you don't. I'm just, I'm just giving you some real world applications here. And Jalen, you're also going to have to pay your taxes. So your actual cost will be like $1,100 a month. Now, if you rent something, you want to pay taxes, you want, you want to pay insurance. So... That's how you can save money by renting. All right, next blank we got to fill out. What's it say on the right? The total for 20 years. Total cost for 20 years. How do we figure that out if we're paying this much every month? 824 times 240. There you go, Z. Right here. Turn me up. That is how many months you're going to make a payment. You've got to times that by your house payment. 824.19 times 240 is. Ooh, wow. All right, I got 197805 and 60 cent. That goes in the blank that says total for 20 years. Now, why is it not the same price as uh, the house cost? Allie's figured it out. That's the next question. All right, Allie says the house only costs 127000 Why is this so much more? Because the bank's got to make money off of you, and we're going to see how much money they're going to make. So... How do we find out the interest earned? Subtract 127. Subtract 127,000. Good. So 
<laughs> but Drew, you gotta think when they have like six, seven hundred people paying that much. Hey, this is how banks stay open. This is why you have so many banks. Because look, just off one loan, guys, they're making seventy thousand dollars off of you in twenty years. You're paying almost. Well, you're paying over half of what the house costs extra in interest. Now things are different when you buy a house or if you build a house, either one. Uh, if your house is one hundred twenty-seven thousand dollars now, they'll probably loan you. 100000 or 90000 and the rest you have to come up with in cash ahead of time. That's one way that's different. Another way that's different is if you will only borrow, like if your house is 127000 okay, well look, if your house payment is this much, if you'll pay $100 extra every month, then you'll pay the house off in like 15 years instead of 20 years. It'll save you a lot of money. All right, we're going to do number four the same way. Oh, this one's gonna be bigger. The house costs more money. It's gotta be bigger. How many numbers do we have? On the I, we're gonna use four. Everywhere else, we're only gonna use two. Yes, yes. Everywhere else, it's just gonna be two. All right, so here's what I got so far. I typed this in. I got $193 and 20. Well, I got $193.26 there. What did that number say? The $193.26. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. All right, guys, I, I got to mess up on number four. That should be interest paid after 30 years, Maggie. All right, so now let's divide this and find out our house payment. Divide 315 by 193. Yep, 193 and 26 cents. All right, here's my house payment. $1,629.93 every month for the next 30 years. Now, that's a pretty big house. Now, the good thing about it, now interest rates are no longer 4.7 or 4.8. You can get a much lower interest rate, which would bring down your payment a lot. This is an old problem. I made it up probably 15 years ago. All right, so that is your house payment. Not including the taxes or insurance. That's just for the house. You can get an interest rate of like 0.5 now. Oh, I don't know if you can get that low. I couldn't get that low. I think you're thinking like savings accounts, maybe CD accounts, stuff like that. All right, so... Jaden, how do I figure out the next blank that says total money for 30 years? What do I do with that number? All right, let me show you. All right, since you've got to make a house payment, Jaden, 360 times, we're going to times that by 360. All right, here's the number I've got. I got 500. 86, 7, 7, 4, and 80 cents. That is my total cost for 30 years. I was off by two. That is so much more. All right, now Z, how do we figure out how much interest they have earned in 30 years? It says 20 years, it should be 30 years. Subtract. Yep, subtract the cost of the house. Minus 315. Boom, boom, boom. Right, what do you I got 271,774 and 80 cents. So look. You're paying, again, way over half in interest. I mean, the house only costs three hundred fifteen. You're almost paying that in interest. What you do to find that? I took total cost and I subtracted how much the house cost and what it gives you left over is the interest you pay the bank. Okay. Just screw it. Over now. 